Oh yeah, dude, we got a hot pocket, hot pocket of zine. This is the actual hot pocket of zine right here. Oh yeah. Pocket, our hot pocket magazine, slipcase. How to make a hot pocket? Open the microwave. Put the hot pocket in. Close the microwave. You dial up three minutes, and you start that. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a perfectly, perfectly cooked. Oh dude. Oh yeah. How about them hot pockets? Okay, dude, Joe, this is Matt B. 2099 head scientist of the TSA Spec Advisory Board. I've been operating on YouTube for almost four years. My account is 10 years old, so I'm OG YouTube. This is my Hot Pocket cooking device uh, out of my reloading shack. And why do we have this? We're going to invent a new series called Microwave Tuesday. That's where we put stuff in microwaves and blow them up and destroy them. Every Tuesday here on YouTube. Why? Because destroying stuff on YouTube has become insanely popular. Dumbasses are taking red hot chunks of metal and putting them in things. Dumbasses are pouring molten, molten metal on things and destroying them. Dumbasses are taking hydraulic presses and destroying things. Dumbasses are doing anything they can to destroy stuff and get easy views on YouTube. Here we go. I've, I've thought up the best way to destroy stuff possible. The microwave. I'm inventing a whole new genre. This is amazing. So microwave Tuesday. So what are we going to do first? We have um, a bunch of ammo bullet clip, clipazine bullet, bullet clipazines. These 30 caliber bullets in half a second and just test them out. So first we'll put one in there and see how long it takes to blow it up. Then we'll put a whole bunch in there and see how long it takes to blow it up. Then we'll put a whole entire assault clip in there and see how long it takes to blow it up. And then we're going to eat some refried beans. Test number one. Well, test number one was my Hot Pocket. That was yummy. I just ate a Hot Pocket. Let's put a couple of these here bullet bulletazines in here and uh, just chuck them right in there. Yep, mm hmm. Dial this up like, uh, I don't know, 12 teen minutes. That's 12 teen. And let's start. All right, dudes, we're going to go to a safe location uh, on the other side of my ballistical bunker and uh, we'll come back when we hear the explosions. Dudes, check this out. It actually shot. Whoa. So, as we've uh, scientifically hypothesized and postulated time and time and time again, the uh, the bullet does not shoot. It's the casing that actually shoots off the bullet because the bullet's the heavy lead part. So here's the bullet, and the uh, the case actually flew off the bullet, punctured a hole through the <laughs> through there, and went flying over near where I was sitting behind the ballistical wall. So that's pretty cool. What happens if we put this in there? So this is the one where we REGEM bead. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Let's just chuck that guy in there. Turn that thing on. Let's see, I hope it still works. Uh, you know what, it doesn't work anymore. I think there must be some safety features that uh, don't let it go on if it uh, it's all like this. Ah, oh. I think I need another microwave to finish this video. Okay, dudes, we're gonna hit start and run away. All right, dudes, we're gonna have to procure another microwave to finish this video. That was pretty cool. What happened here, scientifically speaking, is the powder charge ignited and the lighter brass casing, or the lighter steel casing, shot off the heavy lead bullet. So the bullet is just chilling in there. The, uh, the casing went flying like a rocket, pierced our plastic, you can see this is just cheapo plastic, with like some weird metal mesh. It pierced the metal and went flying, which is pretty cool. The uh, microwave doesn't work anymore. We shattered the glass. You can see this, here's the bullet. The bullet's fine. The bullet didn't go anywhere. 
it's uh, it's too heavy to shoot out of the casing, the casing shot. Now if you were point blank range that could hurt you. If you're far away there's not enough energy for it to really do anything. Here's the, the other bullet. Nothing happened. Be careful, it might just spontaneously explode at you, but I'm aiming it in a safe direction, so don't worry. So next operation is we were gonna put this here assault clipazine in here, but unfortunately Unfortunately, we broke this thing. However, I just thought up a, an alternative. I have a popcorn popper, and we're gonna put a loaded assault clip inside a popcorn popper, which heats up enough to set off the rounds, and we'll see what happens. If, unfortunately, this is the first and last um, video ever of Microwave Tuesday. It was a cool series. Um, I'm gonna have 10,000 people copying me. That's what happens when you have something uh, popular. Everybody copies you, but you saw here first, I invented this. And I also invented putting stuff in a popcorn popper, so we're going to go grab the popcorn popper and finish this video. Fortunately for you, I am such an amazingly accomplished scientist that I can just create science on the spot. So we just busted out this here popcorn popper. Uh, I was going to eat some popcorn and because we broke the microwave, look at that, we shot a hole through the microwave with a casing. The, the microwave has a 632 caliber bore, just big enough to accept a... Oh man, it won't fit. I have to fix that. I have to cut that. Why don't we screw that? That's not going to fit. Let's just go like this. Right? There we go. That's a whole assault clip right there. Put that there. We're going to go hide behind our ballistical wall, like inside the house, and just wait for this thing to, to go kaboom. The moment of truth. Let's uh, let's turn this thing on and run for our lives before it explodes into like shrapnel everywhere. We're mad scientifical here. We're gonna save the day. We're gonna go like that. Oh, right, in, right into a, a bunch of hay. Good thing it didn't combust further. So that, that's how you do that. If it starts burning, you just chuck it. Oh shit, it's on fire right there. <gasps> okay, we put out the fire. Wow, okay. That was interesting. Let's uh, survey the devastation. I don't think... Okay, the, the popcorn popper's fine. It was just the popcorn itself that was on fire. Look at this, why did somebody leave a rubber just chilling right there? Freaking weirdos, they got bums living out here. What the hell? Okay, so look at all this. That's pretty cool. Uh, our, our popcorn popper still works. The uh, popcorn itself is what caught on fire. I think we can conduct more scientific operations. We're continuing on this super scientifical theme. We just noticed that this, this is a perfect clip pouch, clip holder, clip a zine. Uh, in order to insulate the, uh, the operation, we do not want to catch on fire. We're going we're gonna to put it on top of this here pedestal. Alright, look at this. So we have our clip inside the popcorn popper. If you don't know what science is, this is science. Clip, fully loaded assault clip. We're going to assault the popcorn popper. Assault and insult. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna go hide behind our ballistic walls. We'll be back when we hear the explosion. See ya!
I gotta conduct a TSA investigation here. TSA spec investigation, don't touch a thing. Okay, so, first of all, I'm not gonna look in there with my own eyes. All right, it's empty. And it's still functional, we can still operate with this thing. That's, that's what's best. First thing we notice is an exploded, shrapnelized, scientifical, hot casing. We see bullets just chilling. The bullets don't go anywhere. It's, the, it's this that's going to go flying. The bullets are too heavy. There's not enough force focused behind it. But these will go flying. But they landed like within a foot of the operation, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, you can see some of these are all burnt up. That's burnt. They're feeling the burn. They're feeling the burn. Look at all these, these bullets. Bolts without casings. And then we get to the uh, the money shot. Look at this thing. This this clip certainly felt the burn. This assault clip, this massive capacity 30 round assault clip felt the burn. We're feeling the burn. Look at this thing, it's bulged. The uh, the spring shot out, That's that must be what shot it out of the uh, the popcorn azine. Patoing! You can see it's bulged. We shot a hole, there's a hole in it. Uh, I'm not going to touch it. Ah, it's really hot. You can see there's bullets still in there. Uh, I need some tactical tongs. Actually, I'm going to operate a glove up. Where are my operator gloves? These round azine, these clips are hot to the touch. They could just explode. What happens is, because I'm a scientist, I know this. If you heat these up to about between 400 and 420 degrees, that's when the primer will uh, detonate and uh, set off the gunpowder. And uh, when you have it confined, this is what happens. This is now a bulgezine. Look at all these shrapnelized bullet, bullet clips. This is a good spring. We'll save this. This is a good spare parts for other guns. Look at this follower. This still works. We, we can buff that right out. Look at how uh, Matt V2099 Gun Science Scientifical Science Operation TSA spec. Um, thanks for watching. Tune in next Sunday. We upload videos every Sunday. And uh, that's how we roll. For science. Yo, dudes, if you made it this far, please feel free to tell me what you thought of the video in the form of a comment. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see, what you liked or disliked about the video. Go ahead and hit that like or dislike. That helps me too. Check me out on Instagram and Facebook. And I have a second channel named Matthew James Beast. Thanks for watching. Matt be out.